Yasin Dado, no, he's dumping me the pseudo. Who from San Fernando? Yasin Fernando, no. Bro, the accent is like so on point. Like, they could switch, okay? Bro, they switch up just like that. Like, someone like lights off. What's good, y'all? It's the Duma Shacks React, and we're back with another video. Who we got today, C? Today we're back with another American reaction. Super excited about this video, guys. If you're new to us and, and we're new, new to you, make sure you scroll down, hit, hit that subscribe button, and turn on the post notification bell because we're on the road to 100K. And we cannot get there without you guys, all right? Join the family. Without further ado, let's get into the video. Dude, you dancing, and that's funny. Just keep moving. Now, now you, you have a Trinidadian heritage. Yes. And you grew up in New York. Yes. Now, your grandfather was a kind of famous composer, dancer, singer. It was a Calypso. Calypso, Calypso artist. Ro is Roy that Lyon? And that is Roy incorrect. Lyon. Now, it, and that's oh. funny because I just did an interview where we talked about how Wikipedia is always wrong. wrong. Right? You know, Most it's, of it's wrong. Like, even the IMDb, it took me a year and a half, literally a year and a half, to get IMDb to say that I was from Trinidad and not Dominican. Dominican. What? Yeah. Oh. Like, I mean, it, I, mean I, I read that on, 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 <laughs> yo, on, on, on IMDb. Yo, I'm kept sending in saying, yo, this is me. <laughs> I'm telling you, I'm not Dominican. <laughs> no disrespect to the Dominican people. Y'all are great. How did he figure that out? That he was oh, I love it. Where did he get that from? But I'm from Trinidad. <laughs> and I've continually said, my grandfather wasn't the Roaring Lion. He was um, the he was Lord Hummingbird. So like, oh wow, they have oh, it completely like, wrong. Like not even close. Like, like not even close. Wrong. Yeah, not even close. The Roaring wow. Lion and the Lord Hummingbird. Like one's an animal. Wow, that's the other one's a bird. Yeah. I don't, right. you know. See, I didn't even know he was from Trinidad. Nah, this is new okay. to us. This is big new to us. <laughs> yes, but. Like when people, when we were talking about something controversial on the channel, somebody would send a link and it'll be a Wikipedia link. I don't even click on it. I can go on there and edit. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> that old 50 50 right there. Okay. Tweet, Size tweet, 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 tweet. And then, you know. <laughs> but yeah, so my, but my grandfather was the Lord Hummingbird. The Lord Hummingbird. <laughs> no, my mom's true daddy. Uh, man. I like so, him, you know, man. She's trying to discipline me. And I would imitate her and my aunts, and she'd just start laughing. Hey, if you Avian, go in the kitchen and fix me a plate, eh? And I didn't listen to Avian! They start smacking furniture. Avian, go and fix a plate, eh? I said, Mommy, I can't do it. <laughs> <laughs> Mommy, I'm tired, eh? Yeah, I know. I was reading you. No, I didn't know he was, like, his voice person. That's how, that's how, like... He's a good voice. Yeah, when I heard him, that's what the first thing I kind of picked up on his voice. He knew how to change it really good. Yeah, Dude yeah. Dude is funny, man. Yes, he is. I yeah. didn't know that. I didn't know. He's in church. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. My mom is a school teacher, and that's my cool. mom and dad are from a West Indian background from Trinidad. So we that. have, like, still those morals in the house and those little... Yeah. Sometimes you don't even know how amazing where you are is. Because oh. in the Caribbean, you know, you're just like... I, I wish we could go somewhere else. I don't want to live in Trinidad anymore. And you would say that, and then all of a sudden you get to the States, and nothing against Fort Wayne, Indiana, but you're like, we're in a beach. <laughs> there's no beach here. You're like, there's no beach? 15 minutes, you know, and, and what is this temperature I'm feeling? You know, and it's freezing. And so being in Fort Wayne made me appreciate Trinidad and love my island so more, so much more. You know, everywhere I've gone has made me appreciate that other place. And 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 what people don't oh, know, know about you, you're yeah, from come where? Come on now, hey I'm everybody, y'all can pause it for a second. Go ahead and like the video. Everybody knew Nick was from the the islands. Yes, but baby. I think she rubbed that like to this day. Yes, when she first 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 came out. Now I was a Nicki fan when she first came out. Like little Nicki, little itty bitty itty bitty Pinky. Yes, I forgot the name of that. Before song. she became Nicki Minaj. Yes, before the bar. Mm -hmm, okay, mm -hmm. I was an original bar. Okay, okay, all right. Before before the before everything. Okay, so man. I remember her. I remember uh, MySpace. I had her music on my on my page. So from then she was representing Trinidad. Mm -hmm. Okay, she mm -hmm. never let us forget. Man, I think it's on every album. Yeah. <laughs> I, and I grew up in New York. Okay, in Trinidad, and you had a very very tough childhood. Yeah, yeah. You want to share a little bit? Because I think that's always for me the reason to share it is to to let other young girls or boys out there that are, are having a situation with their family like that to know you can get out of it and be okay absolutely um well i think everybody knows because i had a documentary on mtv that um my father battled like drugs and alcohol for you know most of my life 
And, you know, I, like, we moved a lot, you know, we were always kind of in fear that he was going to be violent and stuff like that. And, um, you know, I would just lock myself up and as I got older, I would just lock myself up in my, in my room and write. So they wouldn't really know what I was doing. They just heard, like, the music playing over and over. And that was, like, my escape. I would just write or I'd go in my car and write. And right. Shout out to all my Trinis, my Trini Massive. Shout out to all my Yardies. Shout out to all my Haitians. And shout out to the Vakis. And oh, yeah, all my Africans. I love the Africans. The Africans know I love them. Um, but, you know, Trini is where, where, where I'm from. You know what I'm saying? That's where I rap. Get egg? Yeah. So if you got beef with a Trini, bitch, eat a dick. Yeah. Nooka. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. 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 Nigga, yeah. yeah. she been hard, bro. Yes. Like, she been hard every time. Like, yes. Every, like, when she came and signed the YCMB, that's when she, like, went crazy. Mm -hmm. They I took remember. care of her. Then she did, like, fabulous on that, you know what I'm saying? On that mm -hmm. record, she did good. And I was, I was, I'm yeah. born in Brooklyn. My family's West Indian. You got a Trinidadian family. <laughs> Yeah, I think that nah, he's dope <laughs> Who from San Fernando? Yeah, San Fernando there. <laughs> bro, the accent is like so on point. Like, they could switch, okay? Bro, they switch up just like that. Like, song lights like off. Yeah, that's, that's us when we go home. And, and I, I feel like, so I've been, and I've been thinking like, that accent that you could just randomly do really well. Is mm -hmm. that like something about, there's something going on with that accent? Is that like a relationship that you don't know about? Mm -hmm. A feeling of home within yourself. It just flows, right? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. I got a Trinidad James right. here. Now you're ready from New York. Trinidad James, come, come on, man. man. They said you went, uh, moved to New York, came yeah, to Trinidad, yeah. and then went to Atlanta. Um, no, He's originally from Trinidad, that would mean. Okay, the truth. Tell me the truth. All right. Now I was born in Trinidad, then I moved to Canada, mm -hmm. then went back to Trinidad, then came to New York, then Florida. Okay. Then How long were you in New York? So Some people, you can step in their goddamn shoe and they whole day ruin. Some people, you could have sex with a girl, they don't give a damn. Everybody is different. But when you be too overly sensitive, I feel like you take it away from your own life. Because now you're focusing on the wrong ideas and the wrong things. Yeah. Just do you. It, it, you can't change it. You can't change shit, man. Just do you, man. You can only handle what's ahead of you. What's behind you, you can't see it. So why try to change something you can't see? Look at that. That's ridiculous. <laughs> I was born in Trinidad in Tobago. And um, Port of Spain, you know, Mount Hope. And... My mom, she basically, she brought me up my whole life, damn near, my whole entire life. I lived with my dad for like one or two years, if even that. I would have my mom all the way up till I could really fend for myself. She took care of me. I moved to Trinidad to come to America and like, I guess, however old you are in second grade. I don't remember much. I remember I had a cool friend named Charlie. Or whatever, it was Indian. Cool friend named Charlie. Um, I probably could walk by Charlie right now and we'll know him. He probably definitely don't remember me. But I remember we were cool. We went to a Catholic school together. And I remember Mario's Pizza because they put mustard on pizza. That was delicious. Um, I remember my first taste of coconut water. I remember being introduced to this, my favorite food almost after the um, chicken uh, shrimp alfredo, which is called doubles. That's based on a trend there. Okay, the doubles. Yeah, yeah. And that's basically really honestly what I remember. I remember actually, um, I remember falling on some steps and blacking out when I was younger in Trinidad, and that's it. I whatever, because I don't, I can't remember what happened after, but before blacking out, it was really hard for me to like find myself or whatever as a as a person coming from Trinidad to America, you know, so I got joned a lot in my younger years, and I just had to figure out how to get witty, you know what I'm saying, it didn't hurt my feelings, I was just like, how do I overcome it, and I never let anything hurt my feelings, I just figured out how to overcome it, and so like, second grade, they joned the shit out of me, third grade, fourth grade, fifth grade, I was letting them have it, let them have it, I got witty with it, I was a new comeback, I got to figure out how to jone, I kind of started losing my accent, so mm. it was on then. Well, mm. I... Okay, so he's, mm. he's spoken on a lot of different things. Man, that's crazy. Like, when you move to a location, you start losing that accent. Like, you don't even yeah. choose to, like, really lose it. It's just... Yeah, that was me. It's just like, okay, I'm going to pack my bags. I'm going to sit back here until you're ready for me again. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? And when yeah. you get around them, you're like, oh, the accent just start naturally coming. Mm -hmm. Man, that's crazy. I feel like when you're younger, it it um, impacts you more. Because yeah. me moving from New Orleans when I was younger... 
I lost my accent within a matter of three years. You know, like, it's still there when I get home and I'm around my, my family. But yeah, yeah. other than that, like, I'm, I feel like I have a universal sound. Like, some people always say that I sound like I'm from Atlanta and places like that. And I'm like, I don't even really know. What, what I a, sound like, you know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah, or what a real Atlanta accent is. Mm -hmm. You know, I, I don't know. I mean, I know, you know, the rappers, but... I don't know an everyday average person sorry, sorry. accent, you know? but um, my question to you guys, our Caribbean people, um, and people who have, you know, chosen to live in another country than where you are from, um, at a young age, like, how do you adapt to the changes? I know as adults, you know, we have gone through a little bit of life, you know, so... You, you look at things differently, but what are your experiences as children who were born in the Caribbean islands or anywhere else in the world right, and right. moved to another place? What were what was your, your challenges and what were the pros and how did you navigate that? I would hope that y'all didn't get teased for your accent because right. the, the accent is just dope. Like, it's dope. Okay, so New Orleans have like, and I'm not speaking of those, those forced New Orleans accents. Nah, that don't people, do that. Nah. That people have now that social media is like real big. I had a real New Orleans accent. Mm -hmm. You know, my mama's from New Orleans, my family from New Orleans, so I had that accent. I didn't get teased. It was just annoying because people always wanted me to say certain Over words. Yeah. And I'm like, do I look like a puppy? <laughs> okay. I don't look like a puppy. That's basically what he said. Like when he was coming up, I think he said like in second grade he had to realize you know how to get around a lot of stuff that was happening to him and he wasn't yeah. fearful of it he was just trying to figure it out you know mm -hmm. what i'm saying and that's how i was with you i feel that though they was asking about your accent over and over and over again you try to capitalize off of it you know what i'm saying see what is it about my accent that they really need to know about like just yeah. down the third and it makes me think i don't know how i really lost my accent you never lost it i heard it just a minute ago well i guess when i'm triggered <laughs> it comes out hey i but, guess yeah but okay. listen though, man, Trinidad James. Who else y'all know who actually rapped Trinidad like Trinidad James, man? It's, it's in his name, name man. Okay, it's in his name. Come on, man, you pop my collar. You pop my collar. Nah, you got a piece of lint. Oh, that's it? That's it? Okay. <laughs> I'm from Trinidad and Tobago, born and raised there. I see and her face. I've been in the States for about six months or so. And you went to school in Trinidad, the university also? Yes, I went to the University of the West Indies and studied theater arts as my bachelor's degree. What film and TV shows have you appeared in? Mm. Um, I've done background work for most, for stuff like Elementary, um, The Blacklist, um, I, had, I did one for Orange is the New Black ones, Power, been in a good bit. I've actually had like a small feature in a new comedy Orange series, is black. which is Friends That's of the... And I was, her I was waiting for her to mention because I'm like, give me something so I can put a face to you because I've seen your face before. Yeah, yeah. But Orange and New Black, all right, yeah, so I she's think all... she was one that got pregnant, I think. She's all dolled up, obviously, yeah. but Orange and New Black, all the ladies wasn't dolled yeah, up. they, they wasn't was, dolled up. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. It was in the system, so yeah. they was all rigged up. Yeah. So I, I don't know. You remember Aren't her? she was the mom or something. Yeah, I do remember her Oh, character. I think she was the cook. No, no, Maybe she no. worked in the kitchen. No, I, I want to say she was one of the ones who got pregnant. But all them ladies had the or accent going on too, though. Yeah. Hmm. It was click tight. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm. People, um, it's in the Beached Boys segment. It's actually kind of fun, funny, cool, yeah. <laughs> Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. This is cool to see hey, the people. Make sure y'all drop in the comment section who else they missed in this video. Yeah. I know there's plenty of more. Hey, I should y'all should be proud. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Cause look at all the people that just came from y'all from Trinidad and been successful. Yeah. Like yeah. the journey has been very successful. You know what I see? I see when people who are from the Caribbean islands mm -hmm. when they come here or anywhere. Like, they rep where they're from. They're mm -hmm. not afraid to do that. Yeah, I like that. Big facts. That's how you're supposed to do it. Because I feel like when Americans, they move abroad, <laughs> and, and they become successful in something, it's like a bad thing to rep, rep where they're from. I don't really... I mean, of course, they have plenty, but I don't yeah. be seeing them rep it like that. Like, mm. 
Mm. Yeah, but that's neat. We enjoyed this video. We Thanks. hope you guys enjoyed this video with us. Like this video, subscribe, turn on the post notification bell. We have enabled our super, super thanks if you like to support the channel that way, as well as our reaction request form is in the description box below. We'll see you soon. Peace. Peace.